Welcome back to the MYOB. We've run through what the accounts control centre will look like. Now let's have a look at what banking will do for you. If I click on banking, up comes a new screen and it tells me here that I've got a bank register. I've also got the ability to spend money and the ability to receive money. I can also prepare bank deposits. I can reconcile my accounts when I get the statement from the bank. And I can prepare electronic payments if I want to make a number of payments and just use one exit from my account. I can also print cheques. And rather than just print cheques, I can also print a, uh, a remittance advice. And I can also print or email those remittance advices once they've gone. And I've also got the ability to look at a transaction journal. Most businesses, when they start up, the first thing that will happen will be you need to open a bank account. In order to do that, what we do in MYOB is we, hey, we have a bank account, we are going to receive some money. If I click on the Receive Money screen, the screen that comes up will ask me which account am I going to deposit it into? Am I going to be using a check account? And if I don't want to put it into my check account, I have a drop down menu which gives me a list of all the other accounts that I can bank money into. I'll stick with the check account. I can also group it with undeposited funds. For example, if I was selling items and I might sell one to you, two to a second person, three to a third and four to a fourth, the money would come in, I take it in cash, I take it down to the bank and I put it all in to the bank in one hit. I might make out four separate receipts for it, but I don't want four separate receipts and four separate bankings, nor do I want the situation where I've got four receipts in my check account, but only one entry in the bank statement. In that case, I will put the money with undeposited funds and then clear out undeposited funds and put the money into the bank in one hit. The first thing that I will do though, when I'm opening my account, is to deposit some money in there. The information that I must put into the system is A, the amount I received is $1,000. I'm opening my account with $1,000. Put in 1,000 and press tab. I don't have to put in the decimal point. I don't have to put in the trailing zeros unless they're there. My payment method, how am I gonna worry about um, what it came in as? I have a number of options, whether I got it from American Express or bank card or barter card or cash or check. I actually took some checks down. I wrote a check on my personal account and deposited that. Okay, so I'll use that method. It was a check that went in. And in the memo, what I'm gonna put in there is a further description of what the actual transaction relates to. In this case, it's an opening deposit into account. And if I can't spell, not a problem. It's only me that will probably be reading it. I then need to tell MYOB which account it is going into. If I click in the account area, I get this drop down and it will come up with a list of the accounts and normally it expects it to come from the income source. In actual fact, it'll be my owner's shareholders capital, account number 31100, I'm going to use that account. Owner's shareholder capital. The amount is $1,000. Now it also allows me, and we'll talk about this later on in a future video, to put in job numbers and a little bit further explanation under the memo column. And it allows me to change the default tax code. Currently it's not reportable. My money going into my company's account is not a reportable transaction. The total allocated is $1,000. The total received is $1,000. There is no check, no tax. 
and I'm not out of balance. All I have to do now is to click record. And that is as easy as it gets to putting money into my account. If I click cancel, it will take me back to the main screen. And next to it in the middle, I have the bank register.